I, I don't need to do hey everybody it's Andrea we're, we're we're deep into a haul at this point um so let's go ahead and get into my two plan of things so first thing first a uh, first things first I might actually put this up soon because I am not going to be here uh, next week but this is the first thing. So this I actually wasn't in an order that she just brought for me. So she brought this to me to use with the Princess Diary set, which was the first pop mystery. This is no longer available. If you want to get your hands on it, I would definitely check out the Bicel Trade Group. They are going pretty fast in there though, from what I've seen. So she did come out with Princess Mia quotes, which I thought would be perfect for that. And she asked me what color foil I wanted to do, and I thought silver would be a great. Then she also brought me the font of the month for next month, which is so cute. It has adorable little stars in it. And I think this would be adorable with like any type of celestial, like in the gamer kits. It would be good with like Harry Potter kits. It would be good as just like an anytime kit, uh, New Year's kit, party kit, all the things. But she brought me it in sparkly hollow as well as, is this the, the font of, I mean the foil color of the month, which is like a tinsel uh, rainbow, I think it is. And I'll be getting a ton in this foil color so this just has all of my normal fangs that I like to have she edited it a little bit for me because like pool date that is so exciting and gaming girlies so cute training girls night um game night Nick Theo Lila Bennett Bennett looks so cute and Lila they all look so cute in this font I just love them all so so much but this gets me oh and emo and moody look so cute in this too Made me so excited for pool days then I have my actual order, which she was like, she told me, she's like, yeah, I like ended up like printing something extra. So like a year, this was like, I didn't print it. So then I printed that and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, honestly, I won't even be able to tell. TBH. Honestly, also, I don't really remember what I bought all these things for. So it's going to be a journey for me and you. So first things first. Freebies. So first one here is the shark, which is the all orders freebie of the month in a like burnt orange color. And then there, this is the, this is the foil of the month for next month, which is like the rainbow liney. And this is my current freebie, which I actually need to text her about that because my freebie should be changing. Um, oh, when we releasing blank bundle, cause I have another one coming out. Uh, I think it might be up at the same time as this though, but I'm gonna have a new freebie So I don't know how long you'll have but I'll post on Instagram when it changes Then this is the other freebie. I don't remember if this is 50 or what uh, Like hot stuff definitely be able to use that and then also the I think it's like 75 I don't know the freebie tiers are on her Instagram or whatever, but this is like a pixely chunky gold matte sampler, so that is that's just all the freebies. Then I needed some things. I don't know if this was a freebie or maybe I ordered it in light gold. I think I ordered the rest of this. So let's like do it by how I remember it. So first things first is she told me, she was like filming a um, like pairings or kit lineup, I don't remember. But she was telling me that this foil looks super good with the May Mystery and it really does. It's a really nice combo. I don't know like if I'm gonna use this and maybe silver with it, like maybe silver bougie underneath or just use this with silver on top. I feel like silver is really pretty with it, but also like matte silver would have been really pretty. But I don't know if I wanna do matte silver. I don't think I have any matte silver, but so I ordered, I don't remember if this is almond. If you wanna know exactly what foil color it is before you order it, let me know and I could tell you. I think it's almond. I don't know. I think so. And then I also ordered the game icons and I just figured I need these every week. So as I have kits that are fun foil colors, I'm just going to buy them because like they're useful and all of them. I mean, obviously I could use silver. I'm using silver with it, but I just thought, what the heck, we're going to go ahead and pick them on up. So that's what I got there. And I also went ahead and picked, or no, I don't think I did. Yeah, I did. I also thought that this this font would be really pretty with this. This was the font of the month for last month, but it still might be available. It's like the typewriter font. 
Maybe I'll put this up a little bit early so that you can get your hands on it if you want to. So I have a typewriter font really went with like the aesthetic of this. So I went ahead and got my customs in the font of the month in the almond color. And then whenever I'm done with these like extras, I'll just put them in the color that they go with and I'll have them. So that goes with May Mystery. Can't get that kit from me anymore, but if you want to find it, you could check the buy, sell, trade group. Though I didn't really see that many of those ones floating around. The next thing I got here, oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I have another open order. I was like, I thought she texted, she texted me like, why'd you order so much autumn tie-dye? But I think that's in the next one. But speaking of autumn tie-dye, I do have this, which these are game icons. And I figured that I might as well pick them up because I am using autumn tie-dye with this kit here. And I just wanted to have them on deck. So there's that. Also, let's just go through the rest of the rainbow things I ordered. So I did order the this in the rainbow, which is because I really love rainbow. So I just wanted to have the option. I don't have a kit that specifically calls for this font, but I thought, I also love that the font, the like person who designed it made it look like a typewriter in that the, I don't remember what it's called, but like the line that like all, like the baseline or whatever is like slightly off, like see how the O is like up higher and the T's down lower like whoever designed this font like I think that's a really cute touch it might not be something that you notice necessarily but something that I for sure notice that like some of these hang lower than like the baseline I don't know there's a word for it but I cannot think of the name of it but I really love that about it it gives it a more authentic typewriter feel because the typewriters were not like in a perfect line so yeah, I got these in rainbow because I thought they'd be nice to have in rainbow and honestly I'll probably go back and get the foil of the month in this as well like in a bunch of my staples because I really like the like lining in it I think let me get, show you with a flashlight I think it looks like it kind of gives it like a sparkly look versus the flat so I am definitely going to be picking up a bunch of stuff in this rainbow because it gives a sparkly kind of vibe um so I again just got a bunch of stuff in rainbow that's just to add to my collection the next thing that I have in here is for the next kit actually in my lineup, which this is the Hip Hip Hooray. And I did go ahead and already pick up the um, Groovy Checker. And I had mentioned that I think that this would look good with gold as well as like a light gold or my gold or like champagne lights. So I went ahead and just picked up some other things to kind of supplement. So I did get the flower, um, bottom washi overlays. I think I'm just going to use like some birthday stuff maybe or even just like a confetti or a sparkle. And then I also picked up the, and this was the foil of the month, which I don't know if it's still available. It may be. And I picked it up also in the confetti corners for this kit. I think it's going to look really fun and like have a really nice pop against those colors. Then I also picked up, and this was in the last month's font of the month, right? Or no? This, yeah, this is the last month's font of the month sampler let me use them even for these like smaller sheets the last month font of the month sampler in the um foil of the month for this month to put with that kit as well um and then i just picked up a bunch of random things so like i said the first thing that i picked up is the um light gold icons i think i just needed more of them so i went and picked those up I also picked up the font of the month, which is the typewriter in the dates. I really like how Hannah's are like kind of bigger. They're like bigger than mine for sure. And I think they like stick out nice if you want the date to be bigger. So I did get the typewriter ones in black to have. Also in the font of the month, I wanted the game night. I think Hannah showed this on her like sampler. And I thought in this font, it looks so stinking cute. So I wanted to have a nice selection of those just to have for all spreads. Speaking of black, I also did pick up um, the samplers, my sampler. This is the like um, custom multi, I think it's what it's called. And I just got it a bunch in black for whenever I thought that this font worked with um, different kits. Then I also, I think that she might have printed me two of these. I think that was part of the story. So I have two of these in the autumn tide. I'm just going to put that in with that. And then I also have three in light gold. I don't think I ordered three. This might have been also something that she gave me extra of. Or maybe not. Maybe I did order because I didn't order them in like hollow. Because when I think of like typewriter fonts, I think of more like classic kind of vibe kits. Not like fun, cutesy, like hollow. It reminds me more of like even matte bronze, matte silver might be ones that are nice to kind of pick up in this 
um, font, but I picked up three in silver. I think I did order those. And then the last one that I ordered that I thought this would be really um, cute with is burgundy. I feel like I might go and grab an extra burgundy because I feel like Halloween, if I ever do a spread that's kind of like murder, gory, horror kind of situation, I would probably try and use burgundy with, and I'm going to be using this with the shark's kit. I think that that's going to be like just a really cute look. So I'm going to go ahead and slip this in here and I got it in burgundy to bring out the red in the sign. And that my friends is all she wrote. That is everything I picked up from Hannah. And I always have a discount code with Hannah in linked, not linked, but like written down below. So uh, definitely get your shop on. Okay, so I have a couple of haul bits here. My voice is a little not great still, but let's go ahead and get on into it. So let's go through the stickers first. I do have two kind of like orders, I guess, from Planet Hannah. The first thing is actually not really an order, but Hannah so kindly made me scripts for whenever we went to Disney World. I'm doing like a mixed metal spread. So she's like, do you want me just to like print off like one in each color? And I was like, wow, yes, please. Thank you. You were the best. So I'm using the Batu Bound Kit. It's no longer available in shop if you want to order it. Just send me a message, an email on the emails. And I'm using matte bronze and matte silver. And this was in the font of the month. I think it'll still be available by the time I put this up. It's like the starry font. Let me give you a little close up, maybe. So cute. So that is the first thing. And then the second thing is like an order. And I was like, did I order this stuff? And she's like, you did. And I'm like, I don't remember what I bought any of this for. But I didn't actually really look at it. But the first thing here is the bleep, all orders freebie, which is like a shark situation. Then there is this here, which is my freebie, which is changed now. And this is the Squirrel Prince Co. Um, SPC Mermaid freebie. So cute. My freebie is now the, um, I don't know if this is in the last haul or this haul, but this one. But it'll also be changing in a month. This is like a temp freebie. Then I have some things here. So this is the font of the month in the, not the champagne lights, but it's like the champagne lights equivalent. It's the pixie gold because I wanted to use it with this kit, which I'm doing a mixed metal. And she had given me my scripts in the sparkly hollow so now i have it in the pixie gold and this is just what i get for my custom scripts i have my window open so the lighting in here is kind of weird but it also looks really nice with the foil like look at that maybe i need to keep the thing on and just deal with the light shadow but like it shows the foils really nice so this is sparkly hollow pixie gold using um both of those using the heaven underlays and the um, gold, and this is actually, I don't know if this is the champagne lines one. Maybe, I don't know. A mixed metal foil bundle. I'm like exhausted, guys. Then I got BGA in the April font of the month because Hannah loves me. She made me this because board game arena, baby. If you know, you know. And then the April font of the month with the pink lemonade. Pink. Oh, it's, it's for the pink lemonade kit in um, pink haul, pink tie dye, pink tie dye. Is that right? Um, but yeah, these are my again my scripts I normally get. So cute, so perfect, so everything. And then I got these to pair with the under the no from the something here. This one. The um, under the waves. Actually, I could put this. These go with that, right? These go with this. So I already have the Scroll Prince Co. Um, cloud foil bundle no longer available in Shattered Hollow? Question mark. I'm like lost today. But I wanted to get the Mermaid mostly. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Kind of like them both. And then I also wanted to get the quotes. So this is Mermaid and Mermaid 15 millimeter quote overlays. And then I was like thinking about it. I'm like, do I have like a shattered hollow version of this thing? I don't think I do. I think this is the closest, the hollow one. So I'm just going to go ahead and slap this on in here. Tab and to hold. And then I don't know when I'm using the pink 
lemonade kit. Oh, it's right here. Oh my gosh, stuff's going everywhere. Here we go. So this, I have the um, other cloud foil bundle, the like groovy one. I feel like I've done so many of them. Just gonna stick that on in there to have and to hold. And then this is just gonna go in my script area. Oh wait, I already have it. I think she made me one and then I was like, I had one, added one of my order. I said she would cancel it, but she did not. She did not, but I'm sure I can use them. So that's everything. I do have a coupon code with the Planet Hannah. Also Jordan card. With the Planet Hannah, um, it's always down below. If there's a sale going on, put my name in the notes and you will get my freebie, which I feel like is always super stinking cute. So we love that. Then let's move on to print impression. So this is an order I made because I, oh wait, what's this? I think this, this might have been sent to me, but this is an order I made. So I wanted some more albums because some of mine, like, hold on, I'm going to show you. Some of mine are like too big. Like this is too big. This is like borderline too big, but this one's like, wait, it's like heavy. Like I bet you she weighs like 10 pounds. So I needed some more B6 albums because those are the ones that fit those like sticker holders that Print Impression sells. And I just picked up some ones I thought would look good on my shelf. My shelf has a very like pink, purple, white, blue vibe, like all pastels. So I picked up this one, it's like in the classics collection. I don't like the back, but I honestly might just like super glue it shut um, because but um, these are perfect. See, you can see the shadow from the light, but it looks so good. It's a flip. So we're just going to leave it open. So I picked up this one for that. And I'm going to just be, also I'm redoing my um, like Planet Hannah foil. So I'm going to be doing a whole video on that, I think, and using two of these for that as well. Also picked up this purple one. I don't think I have any of these colors on my shelf. Wait. I do have this one. I'm using it for matte bronze. But this will be in a different area. And then I got this one, which is like, is it the sophisticated or something? I don't know. It has like the straight edges in like a light purple. I don't have this one on my shelf. And then I also picked up this one, which I don't have on my shelf either, which is the, um, like it's like a light, like bubblegum pink color. Again, in the squared edges. I figured I would just go ahead and pick these up again. This one has the back. This one does not. So I might just glue these like super glum just so they're not like flopping, but super stinking cute. And then it looks like Kane also sent me the B6. Could probably do a giveaway on Instagram. And this is the, or no, wait. Maybe not. I think I ordered this one. The white croc. I'm pretty sure I did. If not, she's mine. Did I? Now I'm like confused. If not, maybe I will do a giveaway, but let me check. Print Prussian order. I did, I ordered this one. So, white croc. Again, I have like a white vibe, so I'm gonna just switch this out for one of those. And then he also sent me the B6 um, thing. I think this is a show, but I'll do a giveaway of it because I don't really use the B6 planner. So if you wanna win this, leave me a emoji down below with your comment. God, it's so cute. Oh, it's from the Divorce Prod, okay. So this was like the subscription. So Kane has a subscription. You could, there's like a, with a planner, with a purse, with the stationery, without the stationery, with the planner, all the things. So just check it out. So this is like his little like setup. This is the stationery one. So you have this really cute vellum. There is this acetate that says that's all. So cute. And you have the little like script page. Not for the fashion week. The Devil Wears Prada. And then there is like a little insert in here that is just dot grid with the Chanel logo on the back, which is very cute, very easy to use. And then there's also just that same script sheet on a little card this planner belongs to, and then daily reminder kind of card. And then there's also some Scroll Prints Co. This is like a little matte foil bundle. These have been discontinued. I know a lot of people really like these though. So you have the flags and the bows, day covers, um, headers, icons and bottom washe. So that is everything for the print pression portion, let's say version of the haul, portion of the haul. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack this back up and if you want to win this, again, just leave me a comment below and have your comment have an emoji, like a fashion emoji 
or any emoji. Just leave an emoji down below. I will pick a winner. Put this over here so don't forget. Then, next I have my um, fantasy wax, fantasy wax. Portion of the haul, this was the, was it the Order of the Phoenix? I don't remember. A collection. Kirsten so kindly gave me one of everything. I do have a coupon code with Fantasy Wax. It will always be down below. And I believe it's like Andrea 15 or SPC 15. One or the other. Or 10. I don't know. It's down there. So I did already pre-sniff these. And I'm just going to let you know that this one here, this one is my favorite. So let me zoom you in. So this one is Vanishing Cabinet. This is Glazed Donuts and Maple Toddy. It's so good, y'all. 10 out of 10. Need a loaf of this. It smells amazing. I feel like it's a cousin to apple fritter without the apple, and I am obsessed with it. The next one here is Jelly Donut and Funnel Cake. This is called Weas Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. This one smells super good, too. It smells mostly like funnel cake to me with like a light sweetness. We love that. Then this one here is Horcrux, which is Cupcakes at Tiffany's v v -B. Vanilla Bean? No, V. Z. Zucchini bread. Oh my God. Vanilla butter fudge. Mmm. This one's so good. This is another one I could use a loaf of. It smells deep freaking delicious. I love Pokey at Tiffany's though. Half Bud Prince, which is pretzel, caramel, caramel latte, and vanilla bean Noel. This one's good. I'm normally not like a huge fan of caramel. I feel like mixed with the pretzel and the vanilla bean Noel, I'll definitely give this a melt. Felix Felicia's, which is strawberry white cake, Mallow of Love, and Old Town Bake Shop. I smelled this first time. I was like, yeah, it's good. And then Hannah came over and she's like, it smells just like Hannah's baby. And it literally does. I feel like if it had a dash more strawberry white cake, it would be like almost a perfect dupe for Hannah's baby, which is kind of wild. So we love that. The next one is Love Potion, which is Love Spell Type and Pink Sugar. Two things that I really like. And it smells so good. Love, love Spell Type is a Victoria's Secret type that's like a body spray. I don't think I have a perfume, probably. And it's like fruity. It's like... A fruity that I normally probably wouldn't love, but I love it. I think it has grapefruit in it, which is also bizarre for me, but it's just so like fruity, fun, fresh, flirty, all the Fs. Then you have Dumbledore, which is coffee bean, Palo Santo, and banana cream pie. Very odd combo. And to me, it just smells, it smells kind of strange. You smell like banana first. But then you get like the other notes in the background, which kind of make it like cologne banana. I'm interested to see how it warms. I'm going to warm it in my living room. Uh, Slug Club, which is pretzel, apple, butterscotch cake, and butter brickle. I don't really love this one either. It's the apple butterscotch cake. It smells very appley, but I think that Nick will really like this one, so I'll probably melt this in his office. The next one here is Unbreakable Val, which is Huckleberry Harvest and Sugar Corn Pudding. This one reminds me of like a candy that I've smelled in my like childhood. I can't put my finger on it. It's very, very sweet though. I'm not smelling too much of the like sugar corn pudding, but I'll melt that one in the living room. The next one here is the Chosen one, which is Hungry Butter Rolls, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, and Cornbread. Mmm. It smells so singing good to me. I smell like cornbread honey butter rolls first. It's so delicious. The Cave, which is Salty Sea Air and Rainy Day Type. This is going to be perfect for the laundry room. I think it's very laundry adjacent type, and it's going to be really nice and powerful. The next one is Quibbler, which is Lemon Pound Cake, Serendipity Type, and Sugar Cookie. I don't like Serendipity. I don't like um, Coconut. This one's not super bad, but I probably won't melt this one just because I feel like the Serendipity is pretty strong, but Hannah likes this, so I will give that one to her. And then it was always you, which is blue sugar, sandalwood, and vanilla. I was kind of like scared of sandalwood. But I kind of like this one. Whenever I smelled it the first time, I was kind of thinking, it smells like a grandpa, like a really expensive, like bougie grandpa's sweater. Like a knit. Like a knit woolen sweater. Like that's what's giving me, like if a grandpa had like a scent, like a, like a bougie, he's like baller grandpa. 
had like a scent on a sweater, this would that would sort of be very expensive smelling. I really like this one. I probably also melted in the laundry room. And that is everything. An excellent collection. Only one of the scents I didn't like. And it's not this one actually for a like coconut scent. It's not too bad. It honestly smells to me kind of like a mixture of like a lotion, but it also kind of gives me like a mixed drink smell, like a cocktail of sorts. That's what that's giving me. But it's not like the worst coconut scent I've ever smelled. It's just not totally for me. But otherwise, love everything. Again, this one is my favorite. If you ever see this in a, like, a pre-order, um, glazed donuts and maple toddy, you need to pick it up. If you like scents that I do. Oh my God, that's so good. It's like annoying how good it is because I just like want to put my face in the bag and live there forever. So that, my friends, is everything for this haul clip. Okay, dokie. I have a bunch. Actually, well, this is not actually a whole thing this is just for me for later but i have a bunch of stuff from homo and just a bunch of different things here i don't even know if all this is released yet but we're just gonna haul it hope for the sinking best she has her like new website which i helped her sit on up i think it looks so stinking good i am all for anyone switching out of etsy and i will be um a help to anyone but let's go ahead and open all this stuff this is my order and this is just random things that I was like I need so the first thing here is my favorite font which is the April font of the month which is now a font in the shop I don't remember what number it is if you know you know it's on it's if you go to any of the listings and just scroll a little bit down there's like a font and foil like you can click and see all the options um but I love this font, so I'm so excited that it is a permanent fixture now. And then these are in some of the new um, colors. So let me go ahead and show you. So this one is Zebra. So this is the custom multi. I also have a coupon code with Hannah. It's always linked down below. Um, but this one's really cool because it's like black and silver. So be very fun for any silver spread, really, because you can kind of get just a little bit of black and silver as accents. The next one is bronze, which is like kind of more of a brown color. This one is hunter green, which is a like kind of cool toned, oh my goodness, cool toned dark green. Then there is taupe, which is, as it says, taupe has like a purpley gray color. Then there is matte blue. Okay, we have people here doing stuff with our trees today, so I'm like not entirely sure if I'll be able to film all of this. This is autumn gold. It's kind of like a coppery gold. Strawberry, which is a strawberryish red. Then there's white. There is the pixie magenta, which is so fun. I actually have some stuff in pixie magenta in here. And then there is the lemongrass, which I know a lot of people are crazy for lemongrass because it's kind of like a yellowy green. Then there's this one, which is called leopard, but I'm calling it tortoise shell. Like, doesn't this look like the tortoise shell like lenses? So cute. This is the July font of the month or foil of the month, which is kind of like a matte magenta. And then there is purple confetti, which is also really pretty. I'm calling this one purple ice skating rink. If you know, you know. And then there's pixie rose, which is what it says, pixie rose. And then a pixie rainbow, which has like teeny little stars in it, but you could barely tell. So it's definitely more of a pixie. And then also she just gave me two lavender hollows because I love lavender hollow. And yeah, then kind of going along with that, I was like, oh, well, whenever you finish all of those, I need like little labels for them. So whenever those come out, I need them. So she just went ahead and gave me the labels for them so I can add them to my foil album. Also this um, confetti purple, see look how pretty it is. It looks like an ice skating rink. And then this is my new freebie because I have the new foil bundle. I don't know if she gave me a foil bundle. I don't think so. Nerp. So you'll see that soon though. This is the trick or treat. This is my um, freebie. If you use my code or put my name in the notes, if there is a sale, you will get this freebie. Super cute. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Get spooky. Perfect for the season and that will match everything. Also, this is something that I randomly thought of and I was like, Hannah, I'm designing something and I will send it over and she was like, okay. Um, but this is like a rating system. So basically these are like little square cut out stars and you can rate anything. You can rate movies, you can rate books, you can rate your week 
and you just place it right over top and then this is a little peelable like sticker and i made this let me grab a sheet of leftovers i made this kind of with the these in mind so let me show you because i didn't make them like full width because i just feel like then you what are you going to put them on fancy label so this you can either put on like here and then put the name below it right or you can put on here and then write the name below it same here but i didn't want to make it full width like the 1.5 so it's a little bit of a smaller sheet so you can go ahead and just place that in there and then write the movie what movie are we gonna write um what would be a two out of five i think shazam was a two out of five i don't even know if it was that shazam and then you can have your little rating on top and you can like i said you can use it for books you could use it for your week you could use it for movies you can use it for a restaurant you can use it for anything you can use it in your planner you can use it in your little journal diaries but how fun is that i did make the um these little stars a little bit smaller than the outline of this so lining it up would be easier um but yeah there's enough to do all five star ratings but i mean if you're rating everything five star then i don't even know if you need this but yeah that is super cute right love it love it love it and those are ratings i don't know if these are going to be up yet or if she's going to release some next new release i'm not sure and then let's get into my actual order the first thing first is a bunch of freebies so i did get the spc matte label sampler which is a freebie tier and then there is also the like I think this was a freebie, right? Like a $50 freebie or something like that or the something. All orders freebie exists loudly in the like blue hollow. And then this is my last month's freebie, which is the um, game one. I don't actually know how this is going to work. I think that this is going to be like starting July 1st and this is going to be prior. So if you order prior to July 1st, you'd get this one. But this kind of goes with the Meeple bundle and this is just in the color of the month for last month, I believe. Then I got a bunch of scripts. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm helping Hannah with the website, obviously, journaling card, um, which I also helped her design new journaling cards. So get excited for those. Um, but I... Um, I'm helping with the website by placing a order, like a test order, and it's going to be like my actual order. So I'm very excited to be the first person to shop Plana Hana. So let's go ahead and start at the top, but I'm like doing this so I can see what I ordered and then go and order a bunch more stuff. So the first thing here is a bunch of the, my custom multi, and I just get the same thing for all of them and I just place them with spreads. in the uh, foil of the month for this current month with this June, which is the gold like tinsel. Super pretty, got four of those. Then I also got some things in the April font of the month because I knew it was coming back. So I was like, I just need some things. So we have pack, priorities, HPB, What is HPB? What is HPB? Oh my God. I don't know what HPB is. I'm lost now. I don't know what HPB is. I don't know. Hibachi with Amanda heat, which is a game. And Hannah was like, I like saw you got this. And she's like, that's an odd way to mark the weather and you don't mark the weather. And then she was like, oh yeah, the game. Fast food, mail, mod and organize, mod pizza and then organize. And I thought that'd be good to put like a wax sticker next to it, a sticker sticker next to it, all the things. Now I'm like HPB. I don't know. We gotta figure that one out together. HPB. I don't know. Anyways, all right, so I got also in the rainbow just because I needed it for the game kit and then also cause like, it's kind of like a rainbow sparkle. I got the like gamer icons. So I got those in the color of the month. Then I got some things for the Barbie kit because initially I was gonna use light blue, which I think I'm gonna probably use the Barbie kit multiple times. Did I only order one of these? Ugh, this is very me. Well, I'm gonna need to order another one. So, um, the Barbie kit. And then Hannah was like, no, but the new font looks so good with it. This is like the 
um, magenta sparkle, which actually also has like little stars in it, which is really cute. I think it just adds to like, it looks kind of chunkier, which I love. So we have the underlays, which is the Let's Go Party ones, which I need to order another one of. And then we have the confetti um, overlays, because I'm just gonna use those all over and just like cut them, space them out. Then I have the Barbie overlays. I got this bow, but then I was thinking I can also use some of this stuff, which is old Sadie stickers. I think this is like one of the last like colors. Like she used to do a color every week, which was so fun. But I figured this would actually be really cute with that. And then I also got the header overlays, which are just the confetti ones. And I think this is gonna be so perfect because Hannah was like, but it's Barbie, you need to use pink. And I was like, well, actually you're correct. And I'm probably gonna use the Barbie kit again. And when I use it again, I'll use blue. I can see myself using it for like what my birthday or something like that. So I have that. HPB, happy something birthday, HPB. I don't know. It'll come to me eventually. Then I got some of the foil bundle, which I don't know if this is still like when this is getting discontinued, but I just ordered the meeple, which is like the board game bundle and a couple of the core foils. So I got the add on for all of them. So you have the tall box. I'd rather be playing board games and then the whole reinforcers. And then we have the um, full box overlays and the header overlays, two of those. The underlays, there's the two pages of that. And then the um, icons and scripts, as well as the 15 millimeter deco 15 uh, headers and date numbers. I also got that in hollow. I feel like these would be just good to have on hand, as well as silver. And that, my friends, is everything for my haul. I am just still trying to figure out what this is. HPB. I'm not entirely sure. HPB. Yeah, I don't know. If anybody has any idea, let me know. But that is everything for this portion of the haul. Okay, so I have a haul clip for the day. Actually, I have wax I could haul, but I'll haul that later because Nick is on his way home and we are going grocery shopping and out to lunch because I just don't want to be at my house anymore. So, super cute little journaling card here. Love it. Adorable. Perfect. Everything. Definitely will be using this one. Then, this was like an order after this one. So, let me actually show you this one first because I feel like that would make more sense. So, these were actually orders placed on the new website. I... Um, helped Hannah set up her her website so we wanted to do some test orders like we obviously did other test orders that were just like canceled but then once everything was live I was like all right I'm just gonna place my order and then we could see like what happens which I'm glad we did because there was like two major issues when I placed my order and we wouldn't have known and can you imagine if like everyone placed their order and there was these issues it just would have been a real wild time. So the first issue, which is apparent and the other one is not, so we don't really need to go into that one, is that like the shop, it wasn't like adding two items to the cart. So after she did my order and gave it to me, she was like, you know, I was thinking about it and it kind of seems weird that you ordered one of those. So I checked the website and for some reason, whenever you clicked from the listing to add two into the cart, it only added one. So she had to like hook up with a developer to fix that. So I just went and reordered these. So you'll see these in a future um, video. But Lavender Hollow, I got Marble. I got these with kits in mind. I'm gonna have to go through and like figure it out. Skater, I'm gonna use Skater in my um, work planner with the Skater Girl. Is this called Skater Girl? This one. Skater Girl kit. It, well, okay, let's just figure out where these go. So this is gonna go with this for my um, work planner. And then this is going with the Barbie kit, of course. Obviously, I need another one of these. This one I'm pretty sure is going with, um, ah! I just dropped a bunch of underlays on the ground. Great. Okay. This one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it with that summer art. This one. I just thought that looked cool. There's like some swirly whirly patterns in it and I thought that that would be very neat. And then this one I thought would look really good. That Okay, so this is Let's Go Party and then this is Marble One and then the other one was like Skater, so you saw that. And then this one I got in Pixie Gold, which I also love that her new website, the foil colors are in alphabetical order, changed my life. And this one I thought would look really good with, oh, I think I already have it slotted a mystery where is it do I not have it slotted the mystery the like um the old Hollywood mystery where the heck did that go oh here it is 
I must have just like randomly put it away, but I thought the half circles would be really pretty with this. So whenever I get those other underlays, I will put those away properly. Um, also, I did get some freebs. So a freebie, this is from me, but it's like a $50 freebie, I think. And then there's like a $25 freebie, which is the last month's fall into the month. So you can't get this anymore. And then there is also the Lavender Hollow, which this is my freebie that's going like by the time. I don't know when this haul is going up. Maybe I'll put my haul up this week because it is the 26th. So maybe I'll put this up early question mark i don't think i spoiled anything in here but um trick or treat um this will be starting july 1st and then this is my current freebie and this will change out on july 1st so this is like a board game freebie and if you use my code spc is it 15 or 10 spc 15 or put my name in the notes if there's a sale going on and this is the june all orders freebie then there is a bunch of other stuff that i ordered so I ordered these with kits in mind too for summer. I don't really remember what I ordered them for. I think I ordered, um, maybe for this one, the splash, I think I ordered one and then I ordered this for another one. So I think maybe I didn't order this for that one. I'm not entirely sure what I was thinking. I'm going to just figure this out in my own time because I don't want to waste y'all's time. So anyways, I ordered this in Hollow and this is in Sparkly Hollow. This is Beach Ball and this is Pool Floaty. These were in the new releases. And then I also ordered these movie reels in Sparkly Hollow, which I might order these in others because I think it'd be cute because sometimes I have like, I'm gold. Sometimes I have movies that I want to mark at a movie marquee, but I don't have like an icon next to it and then the name's short, so I need something to put next to it, but I don't have like anything specific. So I thought those would be cute for that. And then I also got the new, I think this is font two, which is April font of the month. And I got it in the, like the tortoise shell, which she calls leopard, but I'm calling it tortoise shell. And I got my normal um, scripts. I thought this would be really fun and just beautiful. I also got my game icon faves in the lavender hollow to have. And then I got these rating sheets in gold in sparkly hollow because I plan on rating everything in my life. And then I got, again, the same script. Uh, freebie in that one then I got the board game my freebie for in lavender hollow which is so pretty she actually ordered the board game bundle in lavender hollow I need to make an order I need to make an order y'all need to make an order too um this will only be available through like I said June and then I did get two scripts in the font choice two which is the April font of the month which I got unstable for unstable unicorns and Terra Mars for terraforming Mars because I just love those games and then last but not least I did pick up oh I did pick it up in lavender hollow I picked up the spooky cutie foil bundle which was designed by me for Hannah's shop in three different foils so I picked it up in lavender hollow light gold hollow and sparkly hollow I'll go ahead and show it to you in hollow Nick's home so if you hear him open the door that is the situation I did get the add-on so you have your tall box and the whole reinforcers plus the quote that says feeling cute and spooky and then this is the bundle so you have the six full boxes and the header overlays you get two pages of those and then the underlays which are bats and stars the um, icons that are perfect for little thing size and then the scripts as well as the 15 millimeter overlay as well as the deco date numbers and the fancy headers and i think that that's going to be everything for this haul i'm sorry this part was a little rushy rush no actually i'm gonna have a wax part i will be filming that shortly and then that will be the last part of my haul okay kirsten so kindly gave me one of everything from her last release which was kind of massive um this is from i think the mario release so i'm gonna go ahead and go through this and this will be the last portion of my haul i'm gonna try and get this up asap because kirsten's also doing a um oh i love the it's cool the rainbow in the back the stroke of the fantasy wax oh my gosh are you not going to focus for real for me there we go um but she's doing a pre-order right now. I placed an order. You should place an order. I do have a code that's always down below and you can use that to save a couple of dollars. So the first thing here is question block, which is Hawaiian Tropic Mango and Papaya. A lot of these were like summer scents. I'm not big on summer scents, but Nick is. This one's like not super offensive because I really don't like mango. 
Mango peach pineapple are not my favorite, but this actually smells really nice. Like I'd melt this in the living room. Normally if I don't like a fruity scent, I'll, mel I'll melt it in Nick's office because I don't really go in there. The next thing is Mario, which is fruit punch Mountain Dew in this big old snappy snap bar. This one's very, very Mountain Dewy. It's very like reminiscent of that like powder fruit punch. And I think I will... I might melt this actually in the living room though because I feel like in my living room also things like kind of dissipate a little bit more. I think this would be just like a nice fruity hint. The next thing in here is pink lemonade in this ginormo. It's like kind of like a light pink snowflake almost flower. This one's actually really good. I do put like pink lemonade. It's funny because they both smell like the powder version of the drink. Like if you open up one of the powder packets and I love the smell of this and my kids love lemonade. The next thing in here is Bowser's Bakery, which is French toast, vanilla butter fudge, and zucchini bread. Oh, wow, yeah. This one's a banger. This one's going to go in the possibility of being the top from this collection because that one smells so good, so bakery. This one's Yoshi's Tropical Island, which is margarita, blonde moment, and fizzy pop. Oh, yeah, I smell the fizzy pop. It's going to be so good in the living room, though. I think that this is going to get me in the summer mood. I might honestly, like, leave these out and melt these, like, sooner than, like, later. I feel like that would be fun. I'm, I might do that. I might melt these in, like, August. This is Toad's Big Adventure, which is caramel, apple, cotton candy, and kettle corn. This one's actually giving me fall vibes. So I'm going to put this in my fall section. It's like a really fresh fall scent. So I'm going to put that in a separate pile for fall. Then there is Rainbow Road, which is jelly donut, powder donut, and strawberry white cake. This one smells really nice. I think the jelly donut's definitely there, and it doesn't get lost. Mm, so it's a nice, like, baked good but super fruity scent. This one I would actually melt. I was going to put in the top, maybe top three. Um, that one I'd melt, like, in the bedroom. This one is Mango Sorbet Mexican Fried Ice Cream and Waffle Cone, which is called King of Koopas. This one's, like, pretty light oddly for mango sorbet being in it but i think the mexican fried ice cream and white waffle cone are kind of toning it down a little bit so that will be a um living room melt this one is s'mores just maybe there's two collections in here i think that actually hold on maybe there's a summer collection i'm kind of confused hold on let me get my story straight okay so i think actually we'll go over those things Okay, so there's Shy Eye, which is strawberry shortcake and cornbread. Ooh. This one mostly just smells like cornbread to me, but like a slight, slight, slight strawberry. That one's super yummy. The next one is Rosalina, which is ice cream, scoop bread, sugar cookie dough, and vanilla frosting. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this one's really good, too. It's like kind of a more toned down sugar cookie royale. Let's celebrate, which is cherry chip cake, birthday cake, and zucchini bread. Ooh, this one's real good, too. You can really smell the cherry chip cake, which I don't like cherry, but I don't think cherry chip cake necessarily is, like, overly cherry, so also could be a top three. DK's dessert, which is pancakes, banana, caramel, cupcake. This one's super banana-y, but I'm sure will smell great in the living room on warm. Brian's fave, oh, we'll go around last, uh, peaches, which is fresh peach zucchini bread. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Oh, God, I hate peaches. Peaches is my least favorite, but I don't like the smell of peaches, though. If you like peaches, you'll love it. Thwomp It Up, which is blackberry caramel latte zucchini bread. Ooh. Mmm, that one's good. Blackberry caramel latte. Oddly, she might be a top three, too. Toad's Big Adventure, which is caramel, apple, cotton candy, and kettle corn. This one, to me, smells mostly like apples. Not even really caramel apples, just mostly like a sweet apple scent. That'll be great in the living room. Luigi, which is blue sugar, mallow fluff, and vanilla bean. Oh, this one's nice. Blue sugar, mallow fluff, vanilla bean. You smell like the blue sugar with like a sweetness. This is also maybe a top three. Mushroom Kingdom, Palo Santo, oatmeal cookies, and toasted malo. Jeez. I actually kind of like this one. I remember opening this one and not really liking it at first. I feel like sometimes you have to just wait, like let them sit for a minute. 
I feel like these are like cousins because they're like kind of like cologne manly scents. And we also have Brian's Fave, which is mahogany teakwood type. Oh, yeah. I don't really like this one. This one's like real intense. It smells like an expensive grandpa. These ones, though, be sissy. Like, I've Nick smelled like Palo Santo, oatmeal cookies, and toasted malo, or blue sugar, malo fluff, or vanilla bean. Mm. Eat it up. So delicioso. Love those. And then I don't really know, like, I'm like, oh, top three. Well, I have like a top like eight here and I'm not going to choose because I just can't pick favorites. So these are all big shapes. So I already went over the pink lemonade. And then I think this was like a summer collection because there's also s'mores. Does it really smell like s'mores? I'm not sure what it smells like. It almost smells like cinnamon. Like, not a spicy cinnamon, but just, like, a light cinnamon and, like, maybe a graham cracker, but maybe not. Hot apple pie. It smells kind of like a craft store mixed with, like, a fruity apple. It would be great for the living room, for sure. And then Rocket Pops. I love that it's, like, Rocket Pop colored, though. This one reminds me of, like, a gum I've, I've had before. Like, a fruity... But fresh gum. I actually really like the smell of this one. So that, my friends, is everything for this Fantasy Wax conglomerate as well as the haul in general. Be sure to check the links down below for any codes, for direct links. Support these small businesses. And I will talk to y'all in my next video.